YouTube video. Today I'm gonna be unboxing the June bookish box. I'm really excited to get into this. I've been loving a lot of their adult books that come with this box so I do have to tell you guys that my subscription doesn't come with the yay a book. It actually comes with an adult version book and of course all the goodies and a t-shirt. Any information about the bookish box I'm definitely going to link down below in case you guys are interested in finding out more about it. But for now, let me show you guys the box. I was surprised. I actually didn't think I had the June box and because we were switching addresses, I was really hoping that it didn't get lost in the mail. I know in my prior unboxing, I think I was like, oh my gosh, I probably don't have it. What's going on? Um, so I got really, really nervous. But anywho, you guys, I do have it here and mainly because there's the collectible bookmarks and I was so afraid that I was gonna miss one of them because I wanted to collect the full year and then eventually, you know, talk about that, um, in, I don't know, in another video or something like that. But I have it here, so I didn't lose it. Yay, it was sent to my old address, so. So here it is you guys and I'm going to start getting my scissors right here and let's start cracking into this. Um, so far I've been loving their t-shirt design so far. It has been really really nice. They're very creative. I've also loved their new little um, kind of like a little card stock type of thing that they have all the information in it which I really really liked and they also now bookish box for the past couple months have been giving us the prices of some of their items which is really really helpful because at the end of this video if I have those prices I'll definitely show you guys or tell you guys right above here if I do have the price for the actual item as I'm showing it to you guys I'll definitely put the price of that particular item if you guys are interested in knowing okay so this is how it looks when you first pop it open I know their boxes are a little bit more different now so you actually open it up like this as opposed to you know the other way I know Owl Crate still has it where it opens up the other way which I love both types of boxes so I'm gonna move the squigglies right out of the way here I'm so glad I have this like container over here that used to be a laundry basket but now I could just like toss this paper because I used to make messes opening this up okay so the first thing I do see here is the shirt you guys I'm gonna pull it out so you guys don't get the glare I'm already loving it. It's such a nice blue color. It looks like a navy blue. Um, but this is how it looks, you guys. Ooh, love the design so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me read it. Let me see what it says. It says, Beauty, oh, inspired by Beauty and the Beast. I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. Oh, I love it. I First of all, I love Beauty and the Beast. Cinderella was my very first favorite. And then my second one that I felt I related more to was definitely Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So, oh my gosh, definitely love it. I know I have actually um, read some different retellings of Beauty and the Beast and I've really enjoyed them. Um, but anywho, so that's the t-shirt right there. We also have this, which I'm so intrigued. It's different. Um, it's definitely, I don't know how to explain it, um, the kind of material it is. It is kind of more of that squishy material. Sometimes, um, I know you have those little cup sleeves that you sometimes use. I wonder if this is kind of that same material, because that's what it seems like. But it says, I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. A darker shade of magic by Mrs. Schwab. So awesome Victoria Schwab um, it does say right here too from who it is so really really nice and this is cool what is this awesomeness that's what this is okay I'm gonna open this up it's a dinosaur but it looks like it contains like is it a succulent plant I don't want to I don't want to yank it I don't know if it's a real one a fake one or what I'm like trying to like pull the little hairs without hurting it Oh my, it's a real one, I think. <gasps> okay, hold on. I, I don't want to break it. Oh my God, I don't want to break it. Um, But it looks as if it's a real plant. It feels like a real plant, but I'm, I could be mistaken. Um, But anywho, look at this. It's Triceratops. What? Oh my gosh. Why do I feel like my son's going to want this in his room? He's not going to let me keep it. I bet you he's going to want it in his room, but isn't that really cool? Look at that. Look at the little plant. You know what? I'm going to read into what exactly this is, which means I might have to dig in here for that card. Oh, I see it right off the back right here, which says here, Far From Home, the bookish box, June 2019. Oh, I love this cover. Oh my gosh, look at that. Fierce. Um, but anywho, it says, oh, so it's a Dino air plant inspired by Sarah from a land before time. 
I remember that. That is so crazy. Who else watched Land Before Time? Like, and then they had all the different sequels that went with it. Oh my gosh, my childhood, all right here. This air plant is the perfect shelf accessory and oh, so easy to care for. Um, You don't really need water and stuff like that as much. I'm definitely gonna read more about air plants, but this is so good, so good. Unexpected too, by the way. So anywho, let's keep going. So I think I have here, okay, I have a sticker that also matches um, the little cardstock here with the informational sheet right here so see you have like more of the sticker form which I find these very useful because sometimes if you really love the art but let's say you want to display or something like that but you need a like a littler version this is really nice it's a good alternative okay and then we also have oh we got two other items and then the book okay so we do have earrings here are they Oh my gosh, I wonder if these are inspired by Beauty and the Beast, but these are earrings right here. It looks like too floral. Let me pull it out. These are super cute. It looks like roses. Let me show them to you guys really quickly. This is how they look right here. Hope there you go. Um, yeah, these are two earrings. Now the backing of them look like this. Okay, so you have the little clasp here in the back. These are so nice and dainty. Now these are more of my cup of tea for sure. Let me see uh, what they're inspired by. Minimalistic rose earrings inspired by Beauty and the Beast. I was right. Okay, and then we have the pin that goes for the month of June. Let me pull it out. And it says, you've got words in your soul. Um, I think this is probably inspired by Nevernight, if I'm not mistaken. I could be very wrong. Um, but yeah, it's super, super nice. You guys love the two-tone kind of colors right there. And it does come with two pins right here in the back as well. And now we're going to actually get to the actual book, which I have here. And it does come with the Zodiac bookmark, which I thought I wasn't going to have. And I think that's it. Yeah, it's just the book here. So I'm going to open it up because it is shrink wrap right in here. And I don't want to hurt the book. So I'm just going to carefully grab the scissors to kind of work around the shrink wrap. I kind of appreciate them doing the shrink wrap. I know some people might be annoyed because they have to pull it out of the book and whatnot, but I feel like that's going to make sure that your bookmark doesn't get damaged. Here is the Zodiac. Why does she seem familiar? Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Tahara Mafi. She did the Shatter Me series, and I want to say this is Juliet. Um, the reason for is because she has a glove and she seems to be depicted by what I remember, at least the way the, because I'm barely on the first book, but this does seem like it's probably Julia from the Shatter Me series. But if I'm wrong, I'll definitely put it somewhere here if I am wrong. But this is how the back looks right here. Now we are inching more closer now to the next half of the year, which means the next half portion of the full picture. Um, okay, so we do have that really, really nice. And then we have here by Marissa Stapley. This is the adult book, The Last Resort. Resort. Ooh, nice. And this is how it looks right here. And this is the back. This is a paperback copy. And I am going to see really quickly what this actually is about. So let me just briefly read the back real quick. Wow, so this is going to be a very riveting kind of book. It seems like there is a couple's resort where people can go or marriage couples can go to kind of seek help in their relationship. And you have this resort supposedly in Maya Riviera and you have um, Miles and Grace who I guess are the power celebrity couple kind of thing. And they help struggling marriages. So in here you do have a couple called Joanne and Ben and I guess they're struggling and going through some stuff. And then you have another couple who's also Shell and Colin. And I guess a big storm comes and hits this island or this resort. And a lot of things start to happen during that time. So this definitely seems a bit exciting. I wonder what's gonna happen. And of course, something about their marriages may or may not change. So it does say that here in the back. So I'm actually really excited to kind of get into this one. Now I have been enjoying the adult books that I've been receiving here in my bookish box. I know I'm going to be doing definitely some book reviews here on my channel. So stay tuned for those. I kind of want to bring the books that I either get on my um, advanced reader copies or early review copies, as well as books that I receive on both my Owl Crate and my bookish box. So stay tune like I said um anywho yeah that's actually the end of this box I really definitely enjoyed it 
this has been the most like eye popping item because I am not expecting an item like this. Now for some people it's like, really Esmeralda, you like that? Yes, I love it. And the fact that now I know that this is inspired by a land before time, it's like childhood all in one hello anywho you guys that's actually going to conclude my video i'll definitely show you guys down here below what the value of the box is what are the items that you guys are actually more interested about or actually liked from this unboxing also are you guys actually interested in possibly reading this adult book and if you read it what did you guys think about it? Anywho, comment down below. Also like this video if you guys actually enjoyed it and also subscribe and click the notification button if you wanna get notified every time I upload. So until next time you guys, toodles.